Hello, I'm Susan from Tiara Lace Crochet and today I'll be showing you how to make this headband using the diamond stitch crocheted in the round. I'll be using a 6.5 millimeter hook and a five weight yarn, also known as a bulky or a chunky yarn. Okay, so let's get started. Using multiples of four, make a length of chain that will fit snugly around your head. I've used a total of 48 chains for this yarn. Just zoom in a little. Now we're going to do a row of single crochets into the back bump of the chain. So just turn your chain over, identify where those little bumps are. They're like, it's like a little ridge. And in the very first one, this gives a neater join when we do join at the end of this round and just go straight under that back bump with a single crochet. And then into each of the following chains, single crochet. What this does, it gives it a nice neat edge. There we go, you can see you get a nice edge on your work. Okay, so continue to single crochet all the way to the end and I'll meet you there. Once you've completed your round of single crochets, we're going to join. And to do that, ensure you don't have any twists in your work. In the opposite end, this very first single crochet we made, there's the top of the stitch. Insert your hook. And slip stitch. And you can see here, that gives a nice neat finish. Once we sew in this end, which we'd have had to weave in anyway, it will give a neater finish. Now we're going to start round two so chain three, this will count as your first double crochet. And now we're going to do a double crochet into each of the following single crochets of round one. So just continue, this is a nice easy round and I'll meet you when you reach the end of this round. We'll meet just here, the last stitch completed round two with your double crochets, do a slip stitch into the top of your chain three that you started with. Then we're going to work some treble stitches now, front post trebles, working into this single crochet row and row one. We're going to work back on ourselves, skip this first single crochet and work around this one here. As we're going to be doing two trebles together, we're going to just yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and leave two loops on the hook. Now we need to skip three single crochets. So there's the first single crochet that we jumped back over. There's the second and the third, so we need to go into this one just here. So yarn over twice, insert your hook just like that. So the um, post of the single crochet lays on the top of your hook like this. And then work around that, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, until you have three loops left on your hook. And then yarn over and pull through all three. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to work a single crochet into the next three stitches. So right next to your treble you've just made, do a single crochet in that stitch. The next one and the next one. And that's how it's looking. 
We will be tidying up this bottom row later with the little when we weave the yarn in. Okay, so now go ahead and do another treble around the one you've just uh, around the single crochet you last worked around. But because we're going to be doing two together, don't work off all the stitches, leave two on your hook. Then yarn over twice and again skip three single crochets. One, two, three, insert your hook and then work around the next single crochet. Work off these two at a time or yarn over, pull through two twice and then yarn over and pull through all three. Now this time, because this is free floating so to speak, we need to skip a skip stitch at the back and go into the next stitch. So we're going to do three single crochets, one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. I'll do this once more, just repeating all the way around. So coming back on yourself around this single crochet here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, Leave two loops on your hook, yarn over twice, skip three single crochets, one, two, three, around this next one along, do your front post and then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through the remaining three loops on your hook. Again, skip a stitch and working in two. The next one along, start with a single crochet in the next three stitches. Okay, so I'll meet you when you reach the end of this row, or round, sorry. This is how it's looking. We're almost at the end now of round three, and we're going to complete another diamond peak, I should call it, or a little tip just here. So we've done our three single crochets and now yarn over twice, go back around that same single crochet just there, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, leaving two loops on your hook, then yarn over twice again and around that very same single crochet where you started, do another front post, treble. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then through the final three loops on your hook, pull the yarn through. So if you just tip your work forward here, you can see the chains at the back. You've worked into this one. You need to skip this one. Therefore, you need to do a single crochet in there. So single crochet in here and then another single crochet here and then your final single crochet just there. Now we've completed this round and we're going to work into the tip of this one with a slip stitch. And the next round is a round again of double crochets. So chain three, one, two, three, and off you go doing a round of double crochets. Every other round is a round of double crochets. And um, just coming back to the stitch count for the headband. It is a good idea, like I said, to measure the length of chain around your head, but also perhaps just check it after the first two rows to make sure that it's the right fit. Um, I think the 48 chains could be a little bit on the small side for some. It's probably better for a child. Okay, so this is what your work's looking like now. 
and we just have a little look. This is, it's created almost like a little zigzag effect. Okay, so let's just get back to here, to the last stitch, and we'll take it from there. So once you've completed row four, again, close it with a slip stitch in the top of the chain three. Now this time for row five or round five, we're going to be working our treble crochets again around the little peaks, I would say these are, of the diamonds just here, like so. Okay, so to start off, first of all do, I'll just zoom in slightly, one chain and in that very same stitch, a single crochet and then in the next stitch a single crochet if you look carefully you can see that this is the top of your peak just here and these were your three single crochets in the middle what we're going to do now is work around both these treble posts here with a treble again And we're going to treble two together. Leaving two loops on your hook, yarning over twice, move along to the next little peak, go under both trebles and yarn over. Pull through a loop and you'll have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three. And then we need to skip a stitch. And if you look, it's just to the right here, the stitch you're going to work into for the first single crochet. One, two, three. Now we're going to work again, treble crochet two together, go straight under that peak, yarn over, pull through a loop, pulling through two and leaving two loops on your hook. Yarn over twice, under the next peak, yarn over, pull through, and working two at a time off your hook till you have three, then work all three off. There we go. And there you've completed your first two diamonds. Okay, so you're going to skip a stitch here and into the next three stitches pop a single crochet in each of those. Yarn over twice, back underneath, yarn over, pull through and just instead of working around a single crochet you're working around your treble, trebles, leaving two on the hook, yarn over twice, back under the next peak, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, Pull through two, pull through two until you have three loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through all three. And again, missing or skipping a stitch, you get used to the idea that this little peak or the tip just there sits between these two and you go into the one to the right and you'll find that you've skipped a stitch at the back here. If you're not sure, just fold your work down you'll see that skipped stitch. And then doing your single crochets into the next two. So a total of three single crochets. And again, yarn over twice under the, the top two. Yarn 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, leaving two loops on your hook, yarn over twice, going under both trebles here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pulling through two, working off two, the same thing, yarn over, pull through all three. And there you go. That's how you do your little diamond. So I'll meet you when you've completed this row of diamonds. So when you've almost completed round five, the last diamond stitch is worked here. So yarn over twice, just like you've been doing all along this row under this one. Yarn over twice and this time it looks slightly different. Go underneath here, under both trebles and work off two at a time until you have three left then work off all three. And then we need to skip a stitch and do a single crochet. And to close the round, we do a slip stitch into our first single crochet we made, like so. Now we're going to do another round of double crochets. One, two, three. I was getting a bit carried away there. So just double crochets all the way round in each stitch and each round has got the same number of stitches as you started with. So if you started with 48 stitches you should still have 48. So I'll meet you when you've completed this round of double crochets. This is round six and see you in a few minutes. So now we've completed round six. Join again with a slip stitch to complete the round. And as you can see here, we're now at the center of where our next little tip or peak of the diamond would be. So what we can do, we can just go straight ahead and do our treble crochets together around the tip of that diamond and also around the tip of this next one. Here we go. If you can hear any noise in the background, I do have a little cat that visits me regularly. Okay, so now we're going to skip a stitch, single crochet, In each of the next three stitches and just repeat this all the way around. Going under both, and under the next. Okay, so once you've completed this round, I shall meet you back here. Okay, so here we are now, almost at the end of round seven, and we're going to make our final diamond stitch just here. So we're going to yarn over twice. Work our treble around the peak just there, yarn over twice again and then bring your hook over here, go under these two just there and then 
complete treble stitch and work off all three loops to bring them together. Okay, so now we need to skip a stitch, work into the next stitch. Let's just check here. So we've worked into this one, skip that one, and we need to do a single crochet from here, here, and just here, the last one. And then a single, sorry, a slip stitch into that where we started. And there we've completed our round seven. Round eight is again a simple double crochet row. So we just chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet in each stitch around. And I'll meet you when you reach the last stitch just here. So once you reach the end of round eight, again join with a slip stitch in the third of the three chain. And then chain one and do a single crochet in the same space. And a single crochet in the next stitch and now we're ready to work um, a repeat of row round five. So that's yarn over twice underneath this little tip of this diamond here with your treble. We're going to treble two together, so leave the last two loops on your hook and under the tip or the peak of the next diamond, yarn over, pull through. And just work off two at a time until you have three loops on your hook and work off all three as before. Then skip a stitch and into the next stitch, a single crochet and pop a single crochet exactly the same into each of the next stitches. So you have a total of three single crochets and we're going to just complete the row exactly like this all the way around doing our treble crochets two together and in between three single crochets. Obviously skipping a stitch once you've made your trebles together. So skip a stitch and then to the next stitch. Start your three single crochets, one in each of the next three stitches. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of this round. I'll just show you what it's looking like at the moment. Okay, let's just zoom out slightly. There you can see it's coming along very nicely. In fact, this is and um, this is the last row, row nine. Okay, so I'll catch up with you when you reach this final stitch here. So we're at the end of round nine now. We've just completed the final little diamond and we need a total of three single crochets between the diamond tips. So we have one here, one, two. So our third one, we're skipping a stitch, we'll go in just there to the right of that chain three. So I need to just make sure that your yarn on your hook is a little more secure before you do your final single crochet. There we go. And then a slip stitch into our first single crochet. Okay, so we're ready to to weave in our ends now. So just yarn over once more, pull through, 
and just make this as neat as you can. I sometimes go just to the left of the seam to get it to lay a bit easier. I mean a neater, I should say. There we go. And then just weave in however you normally would. nice and secure now. There we go. Now for this bottom edging, as you can see here, we haven't joined there yet, sorry, where we joined after we've done our single crochet row. So quite a nice way of joining there. Bringing that together is just going through that little loop there. And you can see immediately how it brings it up and it looks quite neat. Okay, so just going to work down here slightly. go back down here. There we go. Not pulling too tightly because we don't want to distort it. There we are. You can hardly see the join now. So this is quite stretchy but it's not too stretchy as in it won't be too loose so if I zoom out there's your finished headband don't worry if this is a little curly at the edges because once you stretch it once it's on nobody can tell okay so hope you've enjoyed thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.